Scotland's speech and language therapists are warning of a looming crisis in children's communication. Therapists say the lack of social interaction during lockdown has made speech problems more complex, while growing backlogs mean families are waiting increasing times to see a professional. The body representing speech therapists say the scale of the problem is significant and insist a plan to address the issues is urgently needed. Here's Brandon Cook. It's something most of us take for granted, but without it, we'd struggle. Talking, communicating with one another, it begins from birth. But for Amanda's young son, Max, progress is slow. You're watching your child become very frustrated at the lack of communication because he knows exactly what he is trying to communicate, but we, we were so clueless. Before lockdown, Max babbled and formed some sounds. Now he's non-verbal. One of the thousands of children that speech and language therapists warn are caught in an evolving crisis, where mask wearing and a lack of social exposure during the pandemic has played its part in making some communication needs more complex. Maxie's predicament comes at a time where more children need to be assessed. Right. Yes, yes. Room yes, here. Here. Health board waiting lists to see a professional like Justine are up to 18 months in some areas, piling pressure on a vital service which is already stretched. It is, as he said, it is a, is a crisis. There are things that we can be doing to try and support that when we're, you know, being aware of the problem is half of half the battle, isn't it? So, you know, working really closely with all those people around the child's life to support them. But while demand grows, supply remains low. Simply put, there's not enough speech and language therapists in Scotland to go round. The body representing them says urgent help is needed to address what they say is a significant problem. So what we're asking for is a plan for Scotland where the workforce are trained in how to improve children's spoken language skills and indeed parents have the strategies and resources they need to support their children. But we're also asking for um, the significant vulnerabilities for speech and language therapy funding to be addressed. What colour do you want now? Green? Max is now receiving therapy. It's hoped his situation will improve soon. But behind him are thousands still waiting. As pressure mounts, professionals insist it's critical their concerns are listened to. Brandon Cook, STV News.